guys, welcome back to some Grayering Skies, and uh, I think we're on episode 16. So, uh, what I did off camera is, um, I did a few things. Well, I built this over here, and uh, this will make more sense later, but it's basically a way to spawn villagers. It's not actually active yet, because first off, I can't put villagers in here, and second of all, I don't have mob essence to, to um, feed into these machines, and these machines require mob essence to spawn whatever is in their safari net in here. But I'll go over that in much greater detail later on. Uh, it's gonna it's actually a really efficient um, method of getting life essence in your uh, uh, blood system or blood magic system. So um, another thing I did off camera is uh, I put tesseracts everywhere. Like I, I went crazy with tesseracts. So uh, last episode I showed you guys that let me fly into here. I showed you guys that I. Um, I set up this extra cell system, and I changed this around a little bit, and I changed the, the uh, these two to blue. And if you guys don't know, you can take the um, ME colored cable, like if I just take this, and I'll take the blue one. So, how you change the color? Like, there's some blocks in in uh, Applied Logistics and Extra Cells that um, you can change the color of them. So what I did here is a uh, um. Def Oh, well, actually, it doesn't change. Well, defaultly, um, they look like, they're kind of like a purplish color. But what you can do is you can just take one of these colored cables, and they're really simple to make. It's just dye around some cable. I mean, cable around some dye. And you just place it on the machine, so that will force it to change color. And that's how I got it to change color. And uh, so, yeah, I added a couple more things. <clears throat> I added a partition editor, and I'll go over that in a second. And I added an IO port. And basically, what the IO port is. Is um there's a few different different settings on here, but what I was using it for is you can put a uh, a cell like um what do they call it a storage drive storage drive you can put a storage drive in here and it will transfer over to your system. So what I was doing is I was trying to fix like water was going into this cell or this drive, and I didn't want that to happen. Um I wanted it to only stay in this 4K, so I would have exactly one kilo bucket of water at all times. So. What I did was, um, I partitioned this, and what this does, it's basically like a blacklist whitelist system for, uh, your storage drive, so what I did is I whitelist it, whitelisted water on my 4K drive, so only water will go into here, but water was still coming into here, and, uh, I just blacklisted water onto here, so really simple, um, but yeah, it was just because water was filling up into here, and I just transferred the water over into my 4K drive, so... That's updates around here. And uh, a couple updates over here. I'll go over this in a second. That's a uh, composter. And um, yeah, over here I added three more uh, sludge boilers. Actually, I don't even think I showed you this. I'm, I'm not really sure. I think I, um, I think I did. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But yeah, the sludge boilers basically, they take sludge, which is produced by harvesters, and they, uh, make items like clay. I actually have a lot of clay. You want to eh, I'm gonna need that, so that's good. Um, and they take, they make items like clay, sand, uh, sometimes they make some, eh, <laughs> can't talk right now. Sometimes they make mycelium, which is pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, they, it's gonna be pretty useful. They make dirt also, mm. another thing. And I need some spruce wood to patch up that hole. Spruce. Oh yeah, and don't get close to it. You're gonna wanna build this, like, off on somewhere where you're not going to be close to it because it does give you hunger, and hunger is uh, pretty dangerous in this mod pack since when your hunger goes all the way down, you die instantly. So, you know, you want to stay away from that. Um, what do I want? Oh, yeah, spruce wood. Do I even have any in here? Well, that's it. I'll patch that up later, whatever. Okay, so yeah, what I have here is I have water going into this tesseract, and I made a new uh, frequency called water. And if I come over here, actually grab my warp book, go to factory, and I did add some more pages. Oh wait, what? Oh, I think I pressed fort yeah, I pressed fortress since that. Oops. So I want to go to factory. And if we could load, there you go. So what I did over here is uh I added a test rack right here and I took the frequency water. And I actually have power going to that test rack over here. Over there I mean. Oh my AE wrong. I look under here. Mm. I have power going to it. So yeah, factory. Back to here. I just moved my my uh, obsidian 
making factory thing. And it's more simple now because I have power going to here, this is making lava, and I have water going to this test rack, which is going straight into this igneous, eh, igneous extruder. That's kind of hard to say. Um, and yeah, this is just making um, this is making obsidian. And I think, wait, do I? I think I have an interface. Or no, I just have a, uh, a uh, what is it called? Basic import boss. So yeah, really simple. I think I could put an interface right there. It's inter eh, interchangeable. <laughs> I'm having trouble with words today. But yeah, what I wanted to work on today, and I promise I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do magic next episode. I really want to get into that because there's a couple things that I really want in there, in uh, the magic aspect of this mod pack. So, okay, something's trying to get to me. Just turn that off. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, oh, good my chickens are still in there. So uh, what I did under here, I just up, uh, I uh, did a couple things under here. I took these um, sewers, and basically, I have two pipes coming out of each of them, and I have a sewer in uh, one of or all of the uh, animal farms. So the sewer, basically, what it does is it just collects mob essence um, and sewage, and I'll only collect mob essence if there's uh, XP, but there will be XP since the animals are going to be breeding. So yeah, I want to collect that also because any mob essence is good mob essence. <laughs> so uh, if I come up to here. Uh, it will be exporting all of this, exporting mob essence. That's whitelisted for mob essence. And then if I look into here, this will be exporting sewage. So I have two whitelisted um, fluid ducts coming out of each sewer, and then they're going into the respective sewage test racks for this one and mob essence test racks for this one. And the reason why I don't have one test rack mm. is because you can't, as far as I'm, I know, you can't send two different fluids through one test rack. So yeah, that's that. Oh nice, I can go into here conveniently. So yeah, I want to set up some animal farms today. So uh, what I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some more tesseracts, diamonds. Do I have any? Not any diamonds? Really? Where are my diamonds? Go? Oh, I know what I want. <laughs> wow. I might have to pause the video because uh, this is taking up all the diamonds. Yep, I tried to craft one of those. And uh, how close did I get? Actually, got pretty close. Wow, okay, so actually, no, never mind, because it needs three of these. Never mind, it didn't get that close, so I'm going to stop that for now, and then when I get a big surplus of diamonds, I'll continue that. But. I'm gonna stop the video here and wait until I get some more diamonds from my sifting system. Okay guys, I'm back with a few more tesseracts. And uh, I realized something. I haven't set up these um, these farms right here. And the, far the purpose for these farms were to uh, actually, uh, <laughs> that guy almost blew up, to actually support these uh, animal farms with carrots and potatoes and uh, wheat. So, I did put a harvester and planter here a while back, but I got another one here. And obviously the harvester goes right here. I'm gonna need a quartz upgrade also. So that goes there. And then this goes, where is this? So it's two blocks, okay. So right here. Oh, we'll look over right here. So this is where the planter will be. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Actually, let me get a couple quartz upgrades. Do these, even, do, these, bleh, do these even have them in there? Yeah, these do, okay. So I'm going to need a couple of those. Make those real quick. I just look up quartz. Quartz upgrade right here. How much do I have? Okay, so I need plastic. I'll just make like 64 of that, just so I have it. And I'm not gonna wait for that, so let's go over here. That'll be done in a second. There you go. Okay, so. What this is gonna do is just, it's gonna be like a normal standard farm. 
I got a couple test racks here. Hook this up to my AE system, and it will uh, it will send fluid and send items and receive power. That looks right. I'll do the same over here. spike right there. So yeah, save that. Now come over here. For some reason I'm getting some massive lag. I don't know. More than I usually get. Okay, so that's ready. That's set up. And uh ooh. Do I want to set up two more set test racks or do I want to just send power? Okay, what I'm gonna do down here this is what is this? My uh, my slaughterhouse. Okay, so this is gonna be receiving power anyway. Okay, yeah, that looks right. Just go like that, and I'll send some uh, energy, uh, redstone energy cable over there. I think the same for right here. This is my uh, grinder, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's that sounds good. A network receiving power. Should actually be receiving power right now. Okay, good. Let me come over here. I should be able to make those uh, quartz upgrades now. Let me check. Yeah, nice. And there you go. Uh, what was I cleaning before? <laughs> oh yeah, that's an energy cable. Or conduit. Redstone. Should have some in here. Yep, right there. Just take all this. Right now at least. Okay, come over here, put some cable going to this plant over here, just like that, so this should be receiving power, yep, nice. Do the same over here. So now my planter and my harvester is receiving power, and this should be uh, this should be sending items and fluids. So it'll be sending sludge and uh, potatoes and carrots. And I think I'm gonna. Oh, there you go. Okay, so what I need to do this planter is uh, I need to filter this. So I'm gonna go potato, 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 and I'm gonna do one more plot of carrots because potatoes are for food. And uh, it's for my own purposes, and the carrots will be for the pigs. So I need more. I need carrots more so. I think at least. I think I will be able to get enough potatoes in this big ass field. So yeah. Now if I uh, put a uh, one second, let me actually set up my A. I gotta allow carrots and potatoes to be exported over there. So I need a couple. Plus, I need a couple. Precision, not import. Need some export buses, a couple of these. And that's one. Oh no, it's a basic one, whoops. Okay, so, precision. This should be making, okay, so, come over here. And, replace this. First try. Oh wait, did I set up? Oh yeah, I set up this one. Whoops. Okay, so now it's filtered. I'm gonna need to grab some ME cable. Hopefully, I have some in my system. Oh, I don't have a lot. So let me just make some of that. Come over here, and this looks like the closest line right here. So I can come over here and extend this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need some more, definitely. Just poke. Oh wait, I can go through this hole. <laughs> I need a table. It's probably nice. Okay, so those important export but Okay, yeah, export buses. Perfect. So I'll stick this on here, and I'll bring this up here. Nice. It's connected. And uh, well, let me turn my magnet on. Oh, it is on. So let me. Oh, I have carrots in my potatoes and carrots in my inventory. I'll just export carrots and potatoes. And as long as I have a potato in there, I'll go put consume stack off. Oh wait, whoops. I think I'm gonna have to get another potato. Oh wait. I think I have potatoes in my, in my uh, ME system. Or AE system, I mean. Potato. Yeah, I do. So why isn't it exporting? It's weird. Maybe we'll just export all the carrots first. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay. Nice. Stick that in there. Okay, so perfect. If I come over here to the opposite side, definitely gonna need some more cable. I'll send this through right here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some more. Like I just said. Should have some more made up. I mean cable, I don't. Wow. Sad. What's my plastic doing? I should be making some. I mean cable. I don't know why it's not. Does it give me plastic? I have plastic. Oh my god, I hate when this happens. Just clogged up. I don't know why it does this. I need cable. Let's make a stack. And there you go. What should be making now. It's making fluke. Okay, yeah, there it goes. Okay, nice. That's working. Come back up here. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And for this one, I don't even need to set a filter because only seeds is gonna be going into here. But I'm going to export seeds. And that should be, oh yeah, it's not even connected yet, whoops. Obviously it's not working. Yeah, but you want to, especially if you have two things in the, in uh, in one planter that's planting, you want to put consume stack off because if one goes away, then there might not be enough inventory space for uh, for like say if potatoes go away if like they I run out of potatoes somehow. Um, I don't even know how that would happen, but if I do, it would uh it would keep one in the stack of potatoes, so it wouldn't like it would. It would keep this right here. That's why it's not planting this because I have consume stack off. It won't consume the whole stack. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> Hopefully enough MEQ. Oh yeah, let me even show you this area. This I just built this. It actually didn't even take that long. It took uh, less time than I thought it was gonna take. But this is gonna be where I put all my bee stuff. So yeah, I've made a big grassy field under my uh, farm just because I thought that was the most logical. Uh, place to put it. Come on. Please have some in here. I have eight. <laughs> Still not enough. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. Let's check. Oh, it's dark under here. I can't even see where I'm placing these. Definitely not enough. <laughs> oh my God. This is a problem. I'm only gonna set up something so I always have uh, ME cables stocked. Four more. Is that even enough? 
Okay, so it's still crafting. I just got one more batch. The cable. And it's doing it again. Oh no, there you go. Okay, so. No. <laughs> no. There you go. Nice. Oh, other side. Whoops. And actually, four cables is enough. So perfect. I should be exporting. Let's check. And yeah, it is. Okay. Nice. So if I come back up here, it should be a big field of uh, potatoes and carrots and wheat. Yeah, this is looking really nice. I like the look of this. Oh, forgot about one thing. Water. Do I even need water? I don't even know if I do. Well, plants are automatically like. Okay, let me get some bone meal. Oh, I need to remove these torches also. Okay, so good. It won't. They won't spawn on farmland. I don't think. I think at least. Remove all these torches. Yeah, I don't know why this would be... Oh, because there's water under here. Okay. So yeah, I do need water, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, another complication. Grab a couple buckets. I know I have some in here. Yeah, water buckets. And go back into here. Come on, this side. Grab some water buckets. I oh, mean, not that many. Yeah, not that many. Only a few for right now. Okay, I'll stick those in there. Stick those in there. Stick those in there. Stick that in there, and I'll put that back. Okay, so let me come back in here and uh, put this water down. Actually, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need some torches around here. Stick one right there. No, put. Oh my god. See what I mean about the torches? Good thing this has Smite Five on it. So yeah, let me grab some water. Put some. Nope, not right there. Put some water right there. And I think it. It affects one, two, three, four. Okay, so four blocks out. So I'll do one, two, three, four. And I'll do one, two, three, four. I'll put another one right here. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh my god. Oh god, this is a problem now. <laughs> hey, jump off the edge. Yeah, I think that's right. If it doesn't work, I'll change it, but I think it's gonna work. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this looks like a nice pattern. Grab some extra dirt also. Conveniently have dirt. I need another one right here. Right here. And another one right over here. Right? Yeah. Okay, so another one right here. That's so nice. Got this all filled up. Oh, I should actually mention that I killed a, a couple withers. Or I was gonna kill a couple with this last episode, but or this episode, but I was gonna record this episode and then I had some really really bad lag problems. Like I, I couldn't even I couldn't even like the, the Minecraft wasn't even responding, so 
uh, soft that I kind of just waited it out and it fixed itself. I don't really know what was causing that, but I was like out here and I built this platform somewhere around here. Over right here. Okay, so I was just putting the, uh, I was spawning the weather right in here. So, uh, yeah. And I was just killing it with my Smite 5 sword. And, uh, it was nothing special, but yeah, I think I'm getting it right now. But it was, like, I couldn't even move. Like, it, Minecraft was literally not responding, so it was kind of weird. I just waited it out and killed him off camera, so. I don't know. Maybe I'll kill one. It only takes a few seconds, really. I'm gonna grab some more water. I'm gonna have to grab some more water after this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the, the wheat field off camera, but this is the basics of it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do some more with the animal farms, and then that'll be it for this episode. Okay, so yeah, I need a couple more blocks of water. Nice. And this should be done. Alright, perfect. So. Everything should be getting hydrated, and everything should be all good. So next step is to uh, to uh, do these animal farms. Let's do the pigs first, since I already have ca uh, carrots being uh, planted. So yeah, what I have here is basically, on each side I have a similar to setup, but on this side I have a grinder, on this side I have a uh, slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse will produce um, pink slime and liquid meat. Ugh, gross. But yeah, so, and then the grinder will produce mob essence, and it will actually collect the drops, which the slaughterhouse won't. It'll just uh, create meat. So what I can do here is... I need some more cable. I'm also going to need another uh, export bus. So I'm going to export carrots into here, and the breeder will automatically... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Let me do it on the bottom. The breeder will automatically... Uh... Breed the, the pigs with uh, if it has carrots in it. So eight in network. No, actually, I just need power. So we receiving power. There you go. This is the same over here, I guess. Actually, no, I won't because I don't have wheat. I only have a lot of wheat. And then what I have here is a chronotyper, and basically the chronotyper will move all the babies. So when the pigs get breeded, they'll move over into this chamber right here. Sounds pretty creepy, chamber, <laughs> but that's beside the point. So they'll move into this uh, this area right here, and they'll be slaughtered. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Be slaughtered, and I'll collect pink slime and liquid meat. And this is already giving power, as I should be for getting power, as I should be for. And uh, I have the same thing over here, except the sheep are actually has actually grass under it, so they can breed or they can uh, grow their their wool back. So I can collect wool from them. So yeah, that's basically it. It's a really simple setup, actually. My, uh, my factory is like, and ha has like endless uses for uh, setting up different farms for different stuff. Obviously, with the harvesters, I love my factory loaded. Uh, so yeah, the sewers are gonna be working also, and then the ranchers. So this is something I want to set up as well. We're just gonna grab all this stuff out of here. <laughs> okay, so set up another test rack right here. So that this rancher will be working. I have ranchers on the sheep and the uh, the uh, cows over there. So the cows will collect milk and the sheep will collect wool from the rancher. So this will be sending um, sending fluids. Actually, it doesn't even need to be sending fluids. I'll just set it anyway. We'll be sending uh, items. Okay, so yeah. The network, this should be receiving power, and this should be shearing the sheep. And the breed over here, this is for chickens. I actually need to export seeds into here, so that's a little different. 
come into here, grab a couple expert bosses. Come on, get in there. Export. Need a couple precision export. Oh yeah, that's that's the basic basics of it. I'm gonna need to collect some more stuff, like some more export buses and some more enemy cable. And uh, yeah, I'll put tesseracts on pretty much everything, except I'll probably connect this power over to the chronotyper because that's all the chronotyper needs. It doesn't need a a um a specific tesseract. So yeah, let me come up here to give you a better look of these uh this farm. Oh no. Get out of here. Yeah. Off. Okay, so. Chronotypers right there. Oh, and this one's a little different too. I have a vacuum hopper coming out of here, but that's pretty simple. You guys have seen that before. Basically, the vacuum hopper will collect items. We'll collect the eggs out of these things. Uh, the eggs, yeah. So that's about it. I'll set up. I'll finish this wheat farm off camera. Because obviously, this thing isn't working. It has enough seeds, but it's not working because, um. Oh. I'm stupid. <laughs> That's why it's not working. There you go. But I still have to put in water, obviously. I'll put one into there. And yeah, I'll remove these torches. Oh yeah. One thing more. One more thing. I wanted to do a couple quests in here, so. I have a couple quests in here. Um, this auto packager, I made one of these. It's really simple to make. I'll just show you. Auto packager. I have no clue what this thing does. I have absolutely no idea. It's its own mod, auto packager. I think it was added to Grain Sky specifically. I'll have to search that out. Maybe it has some good uses. But yeah, it's really simple to make, just like that. Let's see what kind of rewards I get from this. Probably says by the, uh, right here. Uh, but frankly, I don't even care. <laughs> Killing zombies. Obviously, this is really easy. Just claim reward. And I'll have to do this too. These are actually repeatable quests. The killing zombies and the uh, highway to hell. They're repeatable quests, and you can keep on doing them. Because I think there's a quest. I think the the one of the most recent updates. There's a quest now that requires like hearts, like these uh these full hearts. <laughs> I don't really know the purpose of that, but they made these repeatable quests. Whoops. The reason I say that is because by the time you get to the end, you're gonna have used all your full hearts and not knowing. But unfortunately, I know. I'm pretty sure that I'm like I heard that somewhere. I'm not 100% positive, but supposedly there's a quest in the end that that requires that. And uh, I can actually finish this. I was just waiting on this because the um, beacon. But I can craft all this stuff. This is really simple. It's probably one of the easiest quests in the whole the whole game. I think there's an epic too. I'm not sure though. Um, this is actually this is an interesting quest. I actually like this. Yeah. Uh, this this actually gives me memories of uh, if you guys remember Hexit that was a popular mod pack a few a while ago not really that long ago but I was uh, crafting all the armor <laughs> that's a random random point but there you go some extra information so yeah I think that's about it do I have any more quests I can complete in here no no oh right here for the hoarding okay so start to the end I don't remember ever getting an endstone so whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Did I get any reward bags? No, I got an apple though. I got four apples. So yeah, some really simple quests I want to complete there. Throw all this stuff back in here. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So yeah. Um, see you next episode. I probably will start magic. I'm planning on starting magic, so that'll be fun. <laughs>